what's up what's good how you doing how you feeling welcome or welcome back i am loki hippie if you're new here my name is a g and they be back <laughs> so today i'm back with a quick little story time it's it's more of a question it's something weird that happened that you know i don't know if y'all tell me if i'm overthinking it y'all tell me if it's really not that deep and it's just a coincidence or if it's kind of weird right because Okay, this, this has a little two parts, okay? There's the, the first part that happened that I didn't think was that deep. And the second thing that happened that made me feel like the first thing and the second thing, maybe it's deep, maybe it's... Mm. You notice I moved. So this was right when the move happened. Before that, when I was still at my old place, I was grocery shopping. I was at the store, okay? I was, gonna, I was, I was at the vegetable section. Let me paint you a picture. I was looking for veggies. I had black braids, black long braids. And I was just, my nails were breaking child. I was like, damn, I, I need to start eating better. So <laughs> I was at the produce section looking at some beetroot or something. This is me, okay? Facing the, pro these are the vegetables. And from where y'all are, this direction, a man approaches me. This man looks, if I were to guess, in his late 60s, I would say 67, 68, bald, you know, kind of wrinkly, glasses. And he just walks up to me and he just starts conversation. He's just like, oh, you're getting veggies? You shouldn't go here. You should go to this fruit and veg somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. And I'm just like, I don't have a car. <laughs> I'm here because it's convenient. I didn't. I don't know if I said that out loud, but I was just like, "Oh, cool," because I wasn't really trying to engage. I'm buying groceries, child. What I look like? <laughs> and he just keeps talking to me. He's asking me all these questions. Where are you from? Oh, are you a student? Obviously, I'm staying in a student town, and I'm of this age range. The likeliness of me being a student is real high. So he's, listen, I'm pretty sure that's what he was shopping for. I was shopping for veggies. He was shopping for little girls. So, <laughs> so he's just chatting me up and I'm just like, okay, I'm still like facing the vegetables for real. He's talking, he's asking me all these questions, trying to suggest places for me to go that I'm not going to go to, but thanks, I guess. And eventually he's, he's, he's like, okay, we should meet later. He says later he doesn't say a time he says a place he's like let's go to this coffee shop i'll meet you there xyz 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 he doesn't take my contact information in any way not a number not enough i didn't ask for any of that and he was just like let's meet at this place he didn't say when nothing and i was just like cool with no intention of actually going because this man is older than my father what do you want from me like <laughs> So I think that interaction is weird. He did ask me a lot of questions. He was, I didn't give him any hectic answers. I think he asked me where, what I was studying or whatnot. He didn't ask me where I lived or anything. I did live very close to the store I was in, but I didn't tell him any of that. And yeah, he, he made plans with me, then kind of walked away and I was just like, okay, cool, weird. And I never, I never even stopped at that coffee place. I was like, no thanks. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I did not sign up for it. So that was the first situation. Not that deep, not that big of a deal. Kind of weird, but like nothing that would make me think twice. Okay. The thing that, the thing that I'm not sure about, y'all don't have to tell me if I'm overthinking it and it's just a weird coincidence. So I moved from that place. And this is a good, I would say four months after that interaction in the grocery store by the veggies where this man walked up to me. Don't remember his name. Don't know if he ever told it to me. He did not seem South African either. He was a black man, but something about his accent was, it wasn't giving from here. And I can't, I can't guess from where, but it was definitely a foreign accent so four months later i've moved now i'm shopping at a different store that's closer to where i now live and i'm crossing the street on the way back to my place right so as i cross the street a car is turn this is me okay <laughs> a car is coming from 
oh guys, three some things are hard for me to explain. But he's turning the corner and he's coming this way, right? I just crossed the street to get to my place. He's coming from here. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So he pulls up from behind me and he stops his car and he, like right next to me. And at this point, I'm wearing a ginger wig, okay? I assume I look different when I change my hair. I think I'm freaking Perry the Platypus when I change my hair, okay? I think I'm unrecognizable. But from long black braids to ginger wig, walking back to my place. And this car pulls up from behind me. He turns a corner, pulls up from behind me, and then stops next to me. And I'm kind of just like, huh? <laughs> And it's this man again. It's the same old man. And immediately I recognize him. I'm not the greatest with names, but faces, I'm a recognize. I'm a know I've seen you before. I know you look familiar. It, it takes a little bit for me to forget a face. So as soon as he stops the car and I look at him, I'm just like, that's that man from a few months ago. <laughs> I was like, what? Ooh, how did you find me, sir? Is that why you didn't need my number? <laughs> you got spidey senses? You just locked in? What's good? But now he's, he, 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 there's nothing for him to like chit chat with me about. There's no groceries. We're not in a store. He stopped me on the street this time. And he just starts making conversation. And I'm like, I did not stop walking. <laughs> I did not stop walking. This was broad daylight. And I'm just like, yo, this the same man. Immediately, goosebumps. Immediately, I'm uncomfortable. Right? Immediately, I'm like, yo, this is weird. Something's up. This is, I'm like, yo, what's really good? Like, so he's talking to me. He's asking me questions. He's just like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, I'm a student, still walking. He's like, oh, what do you study? I'm like, I'm studying law. And he's like, really law? You look like an art student. And I'm just like, cool. And I, I, <laughs> listen, I duck behind things. I, I am moving. I go further into the sidewalk and I'm just like, no, <laughs> no, I'm just not interacting because I am immediately freaked out. So at this point I'm thinking, yo, are you looking for me or am I, Am I just your type to the T? I'm so your type that you walked up to me twice. <laughs> I'm like, am I just this man's spec exactly? Cause twice. And it wasn't a, hey, um, we've met before type thing. He was just talking to me, almost like he wanted me to get into his car. He did in fact ask me to get into his car and quote unquote run errands with him he also asked if i needed to go anywhere he was gonna take me i was like no sir i'm good i'm good no thanks you know i i got something to do i got i got somewhere to go but i he did actually ask me to get in his car crazy <laughs> and i went stranger danger stranger danger stranger danger and i i i, I skedaddled into a building so yeah Immediately, the, the goosebumps were goosebumping. I'm like, am I overreacting? Is it? Yeah. Mm. I don't know, man. I was just, I don't, mm. see, I don't know what to think about it. It's weird. How did he find me as well? And where I live is a pretty student town. Unless he works around there for some reason. What is you doing there if you're not shopping for the baby girls? And maybe he is just shopping for baby girls. I don't know, but I thought that was so weird. And I felt immediately so uncomfortable. Am I tripping? Would that freak you out? Would you look over your shoulder a little bit? Because I moved, I moved a good 20, 30 minutes away from where I used to live. So... Are you just always around? I don't know. After that second 
what's the meeting interaction whatever you want to call it and i kind of ran away i didn't even inter entertain the conversation i was like are you are you looking for me are you are you following me or am i just really your spec to the t like <laughs> tell me what you guys think um coincidence am i being drama out am i doing the most or is it takes a bit weird <laughs> should i be concerned the internet is a really funny place. People can find you. It's, I don't know. I did immediately get bad vibes. My intuition went, uh, 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 get away from this man immediately, immediately, immediately. Yeah, that's what I did. did <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was today's little story time. Let me know what type of content you guys want to see from me. If you like this video make sure to like this video subscribe okay it makes my heart deep boom, boom, boom. social media is in the description i know i've been missing up here for a while but i'm usually on instagram so if you miss your girl come find me come find me <laughs> i hope you're eating good i hope you're sleeping great i hope you're blessed and if no one has told you today i love you okay